in reviewing the BL submission, the PUC identified two major deficiencies. One, BL erred in calculating what was approved by the Commission for Cost of Power. Um, BL did not take its figures directly from previous decisions. What BL did was to estimate the cost of power approved by the PUC by multiplying the average cost for power times the number of kilowatt hours. Um, and so subsequently, they overestimated the amount approved by the PUC. When the PUC recalculated the deficiency based on um, based on our approved totals, we found that BL was about $5 million short because the cost of power approved by the PUC was less than what they included in their submission. So when we subtracted the amount, they were like about $5 million short. The next thing BL didn't account for is that they're projecting for the cost of power in the next six months to be higher than what was approved by the PUC in the last ARP. That's about almost $5 million again. Um, so that if, if we didn't account for that, then at the, at the next rate review, we'd still be making up for the cost of power. So basically what is happening is that um, the cost of power for the next six months is still expected to be higher than what was approved by the PUC.